Um, hi, so this is my second video for She Hound Photography. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first one, it was a bit cringy, I know. But yeah, I'm quite an awkward person. Um, I'm just going to show you a few photos taken with my Nikon D3100 and my Tamron 7300F no, 4 to 5.6 lens. Um, and I'm just going to talk you through each photo and then I'd like your reviews at the end if that, like if you comment them down below or something that would really help or video response would be even better I want to give a quick shout out to Nick Fontana you need to read my messages by the way yeah but you just remind me so much of me um yeah so so this is a sports picture and see it didn't hunt at all, it's a very crisp picture, it doesn't really help because this isn't in HD but it's perfectly focused on the horse and rider and the leader and also the pole and the background is nice and soft. I can't remember what thing I took this in but it was a set Tamron 7300 so this is why I don't believe about the autofocus hunting because this is a perfect example of the sporting pictures it takes and this horse is actually going quite fast. Um, I like this photo, it's in good composition, I had to crop it down a bit but it came out nice and I just added a bit of adjustment to the light balance to balance out the colour in a bit. This is a um, portrait, horse portrait from the show, um, perfectly focused on the head, I took this in manual focus, um, it went really well, nice colouring, it came out a bit dull so I just touched it up a bit but I didn't want to overdo it because it wouldn't look natural enough and it was a show a hunting class so it wouldn't have suited it. Um I seriously can't even remember what things I shot in. These are all taken last year. I had to leave copyright on in case anyone pauses these and steals them. But um yeah, so I went for like the greenies. Another sporting picture, um, this one did come out quite soft but I did do it in manual focus and there was about 10 horses in the ring and I wasn't really concentrating fully so I um, brightened up the colour quite a lot and adjusted the contrast just to draw your um, just to draw your attention to the horse itself. I also blurred out a tiny bit of the background just to bring your eye closer. I highlighted the muscles on his back end a bit just to give him a bit more you know muscle and um, this is taken at Barry Island um, a vintage sort of photo taken in manual focus this is with the Nikkor 1855 VR lens um, quite um, a bit demented well not demented but you know um, colouring's changed quite a lot I quite like how it came out though the angle was quite good. I was going to put my fish eye on to make it, but I decided not to because it would just deform it too much. Obviously, if it's a fish eye. Um, coming up, this photo could have done with being like oh, it was too washed out. The white takes over. It could have done with it a bit of adjusting to the white balance, but I had to do this one quickly. So I think I only adjusted the colouring contrast a bit but it definitely could have. It's not the sharpest picture, it's more sharper on their arms and their head so it's not exactly drawn in in the right um, thing. And uh, Next is 1855, no, taken with the Tamron, sorry, 7300. Portrait photo, sharp, I like this photo. Eyes, I edited the eyes a bit to bring your attention. She's got lovely eyes as you can see. Um, very sharp, See, I like the Tamron for, for portraits, um, not really much to say. Coming up next, this was taken with my 18-55 Nikkor. Um, I manually focused this so it deformed her forehead a bit as a spam head, just as a little test and it obviously worked. I quite like it. It's like a, um, I've forgotten the word, distorted picture, but I quite like the thing, like the idea of it, so yeah. Um, not really much to say, to be honest, really.